criticism of Islam challenges religion and political power and opens the space for dissent where none is permissible. Oh, sorry. Ironically, critics of religion like myself have never been free to express themselves. Are you okay? Yeah? Don't want getting hurt here. There are some seats around. You can sit there. Take, go ahead, take a seat. I'll let you guys. Come here, come here. No, you stay over there, bro. You come here. Ironically, critics of religion, as can be seen, uh, like myself, have never been free to express themselves Yet we're the ones who are deemed harmful and inciting hatred, when in fact, it's the opposite. It's the of course, there's a distinction between Islam as a belief versus Islamism, which is a far-right political movement. I think uh, some of the ISOC members will know uh, what I mean by Islamism as yeah, a far-right political movement. But Islam for the isn't, unfortunately, the in the whole have, All right, well, you have a right to religion, unfortunately, the right to religion uh, is not just a personal belief in this day and age, and it violated the gender segregation rules in Iran. Uh, and of course, here in Britain, you also have, because it offends their culture, uh, which of course I find quite offensive, that as a woman, a man cannot shake my hands. Islamism as a political movement is a global killing machine. Exactly Islamists will hack beloved Bangladeshi bloggers to death in Bangladesh, whilst pe placing Bangladeshi bloggers who are based in the UK on an international death list. And of course, lovely British jihadis. Can questions at the end, please. Lovely British jihadis. Is it really funny that people get hacked to death? It's really funny, but... Yeah, it is. I, I know. I know it's funny for you. Uh, but also you've got lovely British jihadis killing beautiful people uh, like Mohammed and Wazi, killing for ISIS, while UK-based organization Cage Prisoners promotes defensive jihad. And it restricts the rights for people to speak who need it most. It's Stop telling people me. like myself who me. the, 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 the entire event. Be quiet or get out. Whoa, whoa, be quiet or get out. Like, I am speaking. Be quiet, be quiet or get out. 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 If you want a speech, go outside. Be quiet or get out. Be quiet or get out. Be quiet or get out. Don't worry. Don't point that finger at me. Be quiet or get out. You have stopped the speech three times. Be quiet or get out. Be quiet and get out. Please stop speaking while Mary is having her speech. You can ask questions at the end. Do not quiet. No. Be quiet. I'm trying to stop. You're intimidating. Be quiet. You're intimidating. So go to your safe space. If you're going to keep interrupting, then please just leave. In the white shot. The white shot. Yes, you're allowed to be here. I'm not saying it. You're fine. But then please quiet down. Be quiet or let me see. Intimidation. Excuse me. Can you stop interrupting me? Not here, right? What are you thinking of? What are you thinking It's telling people like myself who have fled, fled theocracies and religious laws uh, that people who have fled them or who are living under the boot of the religious right must face segregation and Sharia courts right here in Britain. We cannot refuse and resist. It's our culture and religion after all. We have no choice but to submit to our fascists. Safe space. Sorry, Ironically, the post Ironically, the postmodernist excuse me. Ironically, the postmodernist leftists who are pushing the line have one set of progressive Safe politics for themselves. <laughs> they write one day marriage, women's equality, and the right to criticize the archbishop, and another for us. Safe space. We're merely allowed to make demands within the confines of Islam and identity politics. Yeah, we're merely allowed to make demands within the confines of Islam and identity politics. As an ex-Muslim woman, I am supposedly a minority within a minority 
but the power and violence never seems to be part of any equation. In the East, we are labeled native informants, and the far right accuses us of practicing taqiyya if we oppose the scapegoating of Muslims and immigrants. Um, I've also been accused of practicing taqiyya by far right groups like the Muslim and the other. To stand there, and tell them don't tell me to sit down. Don't tell me to sit down. Who wants to tell me to sit down? This person is telling us to shut the fuck up. He's telling us to shut the fuck up. Did anyone hear that? Well, I did. Don't worry about your comment. You can. Yeah, it's okay. Bye bye. Can you get out? No, listen, my. cartoon, which I'll let, give you a chance to read, which personifies this sort of accusations of racism. Calling it racism fails to understand that the other 
also has its dissenters who want to live free from religious stranglehold. Because isn't it racist to imply that all Muslims cannot tolerate criticism and free thought? Okay, well, why do you turn it off? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why do you do that? Why do you do it's that? It's all right. It's all right. Do not worry. It's all right. So I'll put it again. It's all right. It's all right. Just put it on again if you don't mind. Sorry, just one minute. We're just going to have that. Don't be sorry, this is, this is, I actually like you to see this because nothing I say can prove, can prove what I'm talking about. You don't have to be sorry, you don't have to apologize for anyone. You don't have to apologize for anyone. Please don't do that because my parents are in the country, you do not have to apologize for anyone. It's okay, just one minute, we're going to turn it on. You want to hurt your family and upset your parents while at the same time also uh, speaking for yourself and believing what you like. When it's possible to shout one's atheism from every rooftop, then the very need to do so will no longer have the same urgency. Blasphemy and apostasy are not a denial of religious freedom. I'm not disagreeing with that, of course, but I think on a large scale, yeah, you're, you're talking about women who are living in Britain here. On a large scale, it is not a choice for many women, and that needs to be acknowledged. Is. Can, can, I fi can I finish, that please, is. and then we can uh, have more questions and comments. Is that okay? Yeah, actually, it is a choice. Um, and so, I mean, uh, again, though, if, if we're talking about child veiling, I think child veiling is a form of child abuse. So there's a distinction between adult veiling and child veiling. I think they're very distinct from each other. Um, on the issue of, well, how can I have the audacity to speak about the Quran? I, I mean, I think that you don't even have need to have read uh, the Quran. Uh, I'm answering your question. So I'm going to talk about book about reading. Really Excuse me, you need to wait for your turn. Yeah, no, I'm not going to wait for any of you. She's talking right. She's not. I'm not going to wait for any of your questions. On your question about how can I have the audacity to speak about Islam, well, I can in the same way that I might not be a black South African, but I have the audacity to speak about what I think is wrong. If uh, I might not be, uh, I might not be a conservative. I'm not. I'm a communist. I might not be a conservative, but I have a right to talk about conservatism. I may not have, you know, I, because that's what people are. We have opinions about things. I'm not telling you you can't speak about atheists because you're not one. Yeah, I'm not telling you you're not allowed to speak about atheism because you haven't no read. Like, Everyone has respected your time to speak. Let her stop shouting stuff out. Oh, no, 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 so the point is that having lived in an Islamic state, having lived on the Sharia law, it's not, I, it, I, it, 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 it's like, and I don't believe in it, I don't agree with it, I can't it. I think Sharia law is misogynist, it's homophobic, it's inhuman, and that people have a right to challenge and, and dissent. And also, for all of you here who are defending it, in fact, I think I've, I've done that. On the other issue, um, no, no, it's not on the fact that, um, uh, no, he doesn't have to. He doesn't, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Okay, so when he's forcing it's okay. Yeah, he no, because he's here to disrupt the meeting. No, no, no. You have to say that. You have to say that. You have to say that. Yeah, but why can't you guys let her speak? You've had your time to speak. We respected you. We said, okay, speak. We all listened to your opinion. You just, can she not answer your question? And then, and then after she answers your question, after she answers your question, you can say whatever you want, right? I mean, I think that was one of my points, is that uh, when you look at the British left, a large segment of it, uh, and I'm someone who's on the left myself, they have one set of progressive politics for themselves and another for Muslims. And the rest of us, we are only allowed to criticize Islam, criticize Islamism within the confines that has been given to us by identity politics and multiculturalism. I think what we need to know about she this is a 
women from Iran, I think it's because of stand from that country who is speaking here today in front of us as a human being, telling us about her experiences, we should respect her because she's literally speaking about, let her speak. And then if you disagree, can you can like raise your hand if I disagree. You don't have to attack something. I feel so ashamed. Like, oh, I'm torn. I, I really want to be ashamed. No, 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 Um, on the issue of offence, I mean, again, the thing is that there are many things that offend me. It's not funny. 13 countries are British. 13 countries, 13 countries are, are punishing people who are being hostage and blasphemers to death. This is a reality for a large number of people. Heritage right. We're fighting for She's from Libya. Libya. because they might forget and so the other women would remind her which is it's not logical and this is what we were fighting for and and, and many things uh, beating the wife if she is not obedient if it's not even if it's not she's not beating your wife beating a wife she's not beating do you understand that you live in the UK it's not it's not living in the UK yes 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 I'm so sorry for the experience that you 
had in Libya, I told you for you. However, we're not in Libya. Okay, this is UK. This, if that happened in the UK, it's right now, Islam. protest it's culture. It's culture, it's not Islam. It's not culture. Yeah, okay. I yes, it's not Islam. I do have Just let her ask her question. In some countries, the Sharia law is not how it should be. Yeah. And maybe it needs a really campaign, and that would be with you, standing with you and protesting. Okay, so I'm with you. I understand you had such a bad experience, but you have to understand that in this country, stuff like that doesn't happen. So we we're obviously we're going to be defensive. And oh, oh, with you as well, you also had a bad experience, obviously. And we need to calm down. Well, it's not about country. It's oh, about no, no, sorry, she's just having finished. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Sorry, I, I I've got to I've got to go. And also because the reality is we're not really having a discussion. Yeah. We're shouting at each other. It's become it's it's quite difficult. I would stay for three hours more if I felt we were able to have a discussion. But we're why not. can't we? Because yeah. because because, because, because there I saw not, members you here who you saw what, what they did. Okay. And now every day I'm at this We're not a new. We have to hear. If you give us time, we won't. There won't be any points of view. Someone will shout out. Exactly. Are you the one who turned off? Yeah. Excuse me. Are you going to apologise for that? That's one thing. Well, that was on camera. Everything else may be that way. I think uh, the thing is that I, I'd like to end it with I think you should come here with a moral judgment taking the right. What's your basis for what's right and Who are you to tell us what's wrong? And religion. And to smell all the same things. That's your truth. 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 You come from the country that all Muslims are against. But I feel even in South America, Iran is like the most extreme place. Why is it like that? Arabia. Indonesia is inside Excuse Arabia. So. The Muslim country is not all the same. I think, excuse me, I am talking. For Stop God's sake. Say for God's sake. Get out. Get out. Yes. You need to get out. Shut up. Stay, stay, stay. Like you've just been. Excuse me. We are in the Sorry, you just have to be serious. Stop. 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 So I think we're, we're sort of getting to some point here, maybe. No, no, no. no, listen, listen to me for a second, yeah? Uh, the thing is that you're saying that there's nothing that is real Islam, yeah? And I'm saying, yeah, there's no state no, now that is real Islam. No country that is real Islam. No country that is real Islam. Okay. And I'm saying that it's Islamic. It's Fine. That's not the main point. The main point, though, is that... If there is no country that's really Islam, but a lot of these groups are saying that they're Islamic. But they're not. Okay, they're not. But the point is that you don't decide that I have a right to live. ISIS does, the Iraqi Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that's very mature. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought we were having a discussion. Um, so, yeah. so, um, Can you bring it?